Welcome to our channel. Demon's huge shot at U.S. Open semis as chaotic win over a great mate caps 20-year Aussie first. Alex de Menor will bid to make his first Grand Slam semifinal when he plays Jack Draper in a U.S. Open quarterfinal after winning an all-Aussie battle with Jordan Thompson on Monday. The World No. 10 progressed to his third straight quarterfinal at Grand Slam level when, after a brief concentration dip in the second set, he defeated Thompson 6-0-4-6-6-3-7-5. He was already the first Aussie man in 20 years to reach the fourth round of all four Grand Slams in the same year. In an extraordinary feat, de Minar's blazing start against Thompson extend his winning streak of games to 18 after he closed out Dan Evans on Saturday night with two bagels. Starting so swiftly, he said later, was good in one regard, but said it was not always an ideal scenario, as he felt it allowed rivals to begin playing with more freedom. The funny thing about winning 6-0 sets is that it is not the best thing in the world, because I feel like there is a bit more added pressure and your opponent relaxes a little bit more. But I couldn't have asked for a better start today, he said. Thompson, to his credit, responded to win the second set. But after a contentious moment early in the third set, when Thompson benefited from a hindrance ruling, de Minor rallied. Trailing a service break at 1-3 in the fourth set, he endured some testing moments as he tried to close out the victory against a rival who had defeated World No. 7, Hubert Herkutz, earlier in the tournament. But in a sign that he is edging closer to his peak in both his form and fitness after entering the U.S. Open under a cloud, de Minor moved superbly and clubbed two of his hardest serves for the match on the final two points. The pair, who have been friends and hitting partners from the time they were teenagers, embraced warmly at the net after the match. I have got so much respect for Thamo, de Minor said. He has been like a big brother for me, and he has done so much for me. He is a hell of a competitor, a Davis Cup teammate, and I cannot wait to share the court with him a lot more times. The quality of the passing shots of De Minor, who was forced to withdraw from a Wimbledon quarterfinal against Novak Djokovic because of a hip injury, came to the fore. Those shots were the high points against a rival who possesses a superb serve with plenty of shape and is also extremely capable at the net, as evidenced by his prowess in doubles. De Minor is the first Australian since Leighton Hewitt, who watched the match from the back row of the lower tier of seats on Louis Armstrong Stadium in 2005 to reach three Grand Slam quarterfinals in the same season. Thompson's U.S. Open is not yet complete. Desperately unlucky to be beaten in the doubles final at Wimbledon, he will partner Max Purcell in a quarterfinal in New York tomorrow. The 30-year-old, who will be ranked at a career-high 29 when the next update occurs on Monday, said the difficulty associated with playing against de Menor was that no lead felt safe, either in a game or in a set. It's tough. Statistically, he is one of the best returners, if not the best, so when you get up a break, nothing is guaranteed, he said. It is also really tough to turn it around when you give a guy as good as that a head start like that. But I did have a chance to take it to a fifth set. I just couldn't execute enough in certain points to give myself that chance. Thompson said he finishes content that he has played a good tournament and hopeful that the best is yet to come given his improvement. I hope so. I mean, it's no doubt the best tennis I've played this year in my career, he said. So hopefully I can keep improving, keep looking after the body. You see guys playing well into their 30s now, so hopefully I can do that. In posting his fifth win from six outing against Thompson, the no ten seed progressed to his second quarterfinal in New York after a breakthrough run back in 2020. Enjoying the best season of his career, de Minor said he had tried to stay positive throughout. It is just the mentality. A positive mindset, no matter what and try to win every point, and, as always, try to compete my heart out, he said. His prize is a clash against Draper, a sizzling English talent with the firepower to challenge the Australian star.
as he has proven in their three outings to date on the ATP Tour. The 22-year-old is one of the hottest young players on the tour and has caught the eye of fashion guru Anna Wintour, who was once a regular feature in Roger Federer's box. Now she is captivated with the left-hander, and with good reason. Blessed with an outstanding serve and a powerful all-court game, Draper is considered a future star.